I've always been very drawn to do things that matter. When I saw dental care in the field, how practical it is, we decided that we could focus on something which could make a huge impact in a child's life over the course of their whole lives, you know, with a very simple service and something that we could bring really to anywhere in the world. Since we began in year 2000, Global, Global Dental, dental Relief has brought free dental care to 61,267 children. children. We've worked with 304 volunteer dentists, 107 volunteer hygienists, 498 lay volunteers to bring crucial dental services to children in Nepal, India, India Vietnam, Guatemala, Guatemala, and our newest location in Kenya. The populations that we serve, their lives are completely devoted to survival. So um, poverty is extreme. Um, suffering is extreme. Some of these kids um, would come in with literally every tooth, um, you know, raised or worn down to the gum line. Oftentimes infections develop, they start small, but as they grow larger, you live in chronic pain. Some people even die of infections of the mouth. I and mean, these are in villages where a lot of times there are no toothbrushes or you have a family sharing one toothbrush. And if children don't have good dental health, um, and are in pain, it's very hard for them to focus in school. It also impacts um, what you're able to eat, if you're able to get the nutrition you need or not. I remember a young boy, he had two front teeth that were both broken off and chronic infection, and it had been going on for years and years. And once we fixed those teeth, I came back six months later and he had shot up six or eight inches. A child that might initially come in completely shy and reserved, um, really never able to smile, I'll see them in a year or two after we get their teeth in order, um, where now all of a sudden they're, they feel that they literally have a face they can put forth into the world. Typically we're working in a village school. What we will do is empty out one or two of the classrooms and we will bring in the dental chairs. And oftentimes we have lines of hundreds of kids you know, that are waiting outside to receive care. There's always a resounding, yes, we'd love to have you here and we desperately need to have a dentist. We don't just land into a particular location for a one-time splash. We elect to um, adopt certain populations. We establish a, an ongoing relationship with them where they are seen at least every two years. We realized that if we could start with kids, that we could see them over the course of six to eight years and they would not only save their teeth, but they would learn you know, the causes of tooth decay. So they'll grow up to keep their teeth. They will teach their kids to keep their teeth. Every dollar that comes in is highly leveraged and we do it with teams of volunteers, uh, dentists, hygienists, and non-dental volunteers. As a volunteer with Global Dental, I donated my time in the clinic and also paid for my travel costs. So we are a very lean operation. It cost us $10 to provide complete care to a child. And for that, the child receives $220 worth of care. So if we adopt an entire school of 250 children, $2,500 can do all the work for that school. I think at the end of the day, what probably surprised me the most was um, how hard everyone worked and how big their smiles were when they were working. And then there's also an opportunity to explore the country for those who want to stay around longer. It's really this fundamental touching of the human heart that has continued to bring me back into these clinical situations. I really do have the ability to step out into the world right now with what I've been given and make a difference in it. One of my very favorite things to do is see a group coming back after two years and you start asking them the questions and these kids are so excited. And I go out and meet them and ask them, are they brushing their teeth? And they yell, two times a day, two times a day. And I just sort of think, wow, you know, really the possibilities are limitless. We could go anywhere, we could develop this anywhere. And so um, I kind of, in many ways, feel like we're just beginning. <laughs>